I don't have that much expectations before I go on set. I'm always struck when acting in general that you're sort of time traveling, like you go into this place and like you have to imagine that you're from this other period and like there's all these buildings from this other period, you're in these different clothes and then you also have to keep reliving the same moments over and over and over again. So by the time you're a week into filming, I start to just go a bit sort of loopy and just be, it's just sort of, my real life becomes the time on set because I spend more time on set than I do at home. So, and everyone around you is upholding this fantasy for you, you know? So um, the expectations always are, are, um, are, yeah, I don't really have much expectations, but I'm always surprised by how, um, how vivid and real, or I was surprised on this show how vivid and real everything felt. How do you feel about there's so much, you know, science against religion in this? Do you feel like the show is sort of timed for this period? Because that was my feeling that it's a perfect time for it to come out now. I kind of feel like it will always be a, a thing. Yeah, it's true. Faith against Faith knowledge science. and science and religion, science, mm. Uh, mm. beliefs. And, yeah, so I guess... I suppose your character was more secure because Luke is very much the kind of um, the ambassador for science yeah. and fact yeah. and, and kind of, and you're married to a, to a preacher and you seem to have much more of an ethereal kind yeah, of Yeah, she's idea got, but she's got a sort stuff. of interesting relationship to religion as well because she keeps telling Frankie, you know, don't tell my husband, I'm not entirely mm. sure. Mm. Uh, or I think maybe, I think, I think Stella does think the serpent is real for instance oh, I think really? she's got a sort of a very different way to look at she's she's got a freedom in her approach to religion I, I quite liked that it was it was this portrait of so many nuances of um, of faith and that it wasn't a sort of um, two blocks fighting each other and that there were lots of characters that were actually in the middle and both and all, and all of them had something interesting to bring to the picture, and that may be mm. probably the way to look at the world. There's a bit of a mix of everything. Um, um, and I like that this vicar is sort of someone who also has a sort of a different, not, a, not too narrow an ap approach to, to mm. religion and dogma, I yeah, guess. That's true. Is that what you want people that watch the show to take with them to actually be like, well, you could be right, but you could also be wrong and, you know, think about this and have an open mind for stuff. I guess it's always dangerous to kind of think there's one way to look at to look at things. Mm. Um, I always I'm always terrified by people who don't seem to ever doubt of anything. Mm. Um, and it can be a bit like I can be I probably doubt a bit too much about everything. But, mm. yeah, I think it's a beautiful way to kind of talk about how complex the world is and, and we are. And mm. so how complex we still need to kind of like how we how we need to approach things in lots of different ways, I guess. I yeah, know. I agree with that. I think it's a good. Um, yeah, that is a good way of um, thinking about the show, like not to just it's also a lot about fear, like if you continue to perpetuate your fear and put it out into the world, you will get fear back. Mm. 